M0FXB, welcome back to my videos on the Bofeng UVRH. Just a couple of basics here. So first thing we'll show you is how to go to A and B band. So from the top to the bottom, just press this one here, AB. That's your B and we are on air band, which works fine. And then A, air band selects AM automatically. If we press and hold AB, and again, we get single screen, whether we're in VFO or memory, also A and B, and that looks very nice. And then hold again, you're back in dual watch, and there is a setting in the settings to monitor both A and B at the same time. Another handy one, if you've got a GPS lock, which is enabled at the moment, and I've enabled that by holding down the top button because that's been preset. You can change the settings for all the buttons. There's only one PTT, but if you hold down the red button and you've got a GPS lock, it will show your location and it does work. The GPS does work. Okay, back out of that. So if you press the VFO and memory, Frequency mode is VFO, so now you can type a frequency. So we've got one, four, five, six hundred, and that's a typical repeater. To change the settings in a repeater, you would just go menu, menu. and go straight down to program channel, select the green button. Then you can start setting your receive and transmit frequency, just pressing the green button and typing that in. If you go down, you've got transmit power, bandwidth, wide and narrow, which is shown on screen, as is the power. Uh, you won't need receive CT CSS. Well, I don't use that. Very rare it's needed. Uh, so maybe you will. So, but transmit, yes, select, and then select your CT CSS and confirm. Just showing you the obvious one. Yes, it's got weather channels and the GNS as well weather channels as well, going down. And yes, if you hold down this button here, you get the broadcast radio. Again, that works really well. Let's try that again. It's got a nice loud speaker, a clear screen. Not great in bright sunlight, but most of these are, are not. LED here that is that goes red when you transmit, like so, and green when you receive, as does the USB-C connector on the back there underneath that flap. It's red when charging, green when charged, and it does come with a cradle charger. The usual Bofun Kenwood style connector for your speaker mic and your programming cable, which is just a standard Bofun one as far as I can see. Up and down arrows as well that you can use. If you hold down the green button, it will actually search, let's try that again, search for a frequency. There you are, so you don't have to hold it, you just press it and it will be, it's looking for a frequency. LED goes green as well, let's just go back. On the screen we've got wide showing for wide band, M for medium power, battery and then squelch is showed on the A and the B and you do actually have a, uh, a, a volume slider and when you select squelch there's air band not fully on a rubber duck in my house which you know you think it's inside my house outside that's going to sound a lot better and if we go menu we've got a whole load of radio settings there as well you've got scan on the first selection menu and then look you've got squelch which you could adjust vox settings timeout english or chinese speaking roger beep look at that there's a bit of air band there and that's on a rubber duck you must be right above my head lol <laughs> so, you know, sometimes it's clear and sometimes you get that sort of squashed effect hold down the hash Scanning it starts to scan hold it again and it stops Let's hold down star, lock, lock. Unlock. unlock. I can't see a torch on this model, it seems to be blocked out. But if you briefly press the orange button with the setting out of the box, you get zero squelch. If you hold it, GPS off, GPS off 
GPS on that shows at the top. Let's hold. Let's just hold the bottom one. Let's well, see if anything changed then. Yeah, something at the top does show up. The other thing, this radio has got zones, but I've not really learnt about the zones. If you go to channel mode, channel mode. it says zone zero one and then channel twenty three. So I think that's about it overall. It's got that Quashang sort of volume control, which turns it on and off. The usual SMA antenna connector. And uh, it's the 5RH Pro model. And it's very colorful and very nice to use and to hold. It's got a nice size to it. Good belt clip on the back. And I think you'll be very happy with it. Bye for now, 7.3, all the best.